We've just had a, a producer ring in and say, would you do a Jack and Ori for us? <laughs> <laughs> you obviously did, did the treehouse. <laughs> yeah, you obviously yeah. enjoyed that, but have that you read fantastic. it to the children yet? No, I haven't. I, what I did do, Rainer Unwin, I have to say, was one of the most charming men I've ever met in my life. We had a fantastic day, and I went back on the train with him back to London, and we carried on talking for another three hours, and he introduced me to the Father Christmas Letters, which is something that Tolkien wrote, which I had absolutely no idea even mm. existed. And I got hold of a, a copy of the book, which he'd probably be pleased about because he publishes it, and read it to the children over Christmas, who thought it was just absolutely wonderful. Were you surprised? At, I mean, I know you're familiar with the Midlands, because your, mm -hmm. your wife is Nina from, comes up, from, here, that's right. from up here. Yeah. But were you surprised that Tolkien came from sort of round here? Well, I was very surprised, and I was also surprised to find out how much actual serious, lovely countryside there mm. is round here. I mean, people tend to think of Birmingham as, as a sprawling city that, where nothing matches. And yet you haven't got to drive out very far to find some of the most beautiful countryside well, I've ever seen. We, and even in the centre of town here, I mean, we've got the botanical gardens a mile or so from here. Yeah. And wildlife places down there. It really is. It's, it's very misunderstood, the Midlands, I think. Very misunderstood. You said you were a bit of a greenie yourself. How are yes. your 120 trees getting on there? Well, we're down to about 110 now because the horses have eaten some of them, unfortunately. Uh, we set up a, an electric fence down the side, but as sort of the kids tended to electrocute themselves and come in with their ears sort of blowing blue and things, we decided it wasn't a particularly good idea. And so uh, we sort of took it down. And the horses are very, very partial to, to fir trees, and, mm. and that, so they've eaten some of them, but we've managed to cordon them all off now. Now, you just touched on saying, I mean, you live in the Isle of Man, you, you mm -hmm. touched on the fact that there's a great deal of mythology. What? Absolutely. What? Um, well, the folklore on the island is, is massive. I mean, I, the, there are books on it. I mean, I, I, I really can't call myself an expert in any way, man, or fashion, or form. I've only been there for a couple of years. We've got some wonderful little things, like we've got the fairy bridge. Not, not that sort of fairy bridge. It's uh, a bridge where everybody, before they go over, they have to say hello to the fairies, and it's considered extremely bad luck if you don't. And in fact, there are stories of a bound of people who said, oh, I'm not bothering with that, and have sort of driven over the bridge into trees and in ditches and, and had <laughs> legs drop off and various things like that. And the other nice, nice things, if you go into somebody's house, you should always leave by the door you enter in. It's considered... Uh, and you can't say the word rat. What's wrong like. with rats, yeah? Well, it's the only vermin there is on the island. There aren't any uh, foxes, or not meant to be, and any squirrels and things. And the rats obviously came in on the early boats many years ago. And so they're not very well liked, obviously, on the island. So you call them long tails. And if you say rats, it, uh, very superstitious people sort of like whistle and go, <laughs> which oh. cancels that out, you see. It's a bit like rabbits in Cornwall, that. Eh? Yeah. I mean, it gets really silly because um, the, the, the girl who lives with us and, <clears throat> and helps us out with the kids around the house, Marie, she's terribly superstitious and has all these different things. You have to lift your left leg up if you go in the wrong door and all this sort of like. <laughs> and she did, she did a thing at the, at the ferry bridge with a friend of hers a couple of years back um, where they dressed up as fairies and hid under the bridge on, on April Fool's Day. And when some of the people were coming back from the pub, slightly the worse for wear, and say, hello, fairies, they sort of jump over the top and wave. Strange people, those Manx people. <coughs> no, it's wonderful. I tell you, it's the best place in the world it is, the Well, you've obviously been inspired by mythology and legends. I mean, we played some music from um, uh, Journeys to the Centre of the Earth, Myths, mm. myths and Legends, and yeah. Country Airs there. Uh, has that always been a big thing with you? Yes, I, I, sadly enough, it, I never took any interest in it at school, any English literature of any way, manner, fashion or form, more history. I thought it was thoroughly boring at school. And it, when I started to write music, because the majority of my music is instrumental, uh, it, I had to find subjects to write to. And mythology and history is, is the great thing, because it's something that everybody can relate to. And things like King Arthur, everybody knows that there's Merlin, they know that there's Guinevere, but they don't really know much more. Mm. So that allows you just enough to, to expand upon. Now you're going to play something for us today yeah. from Sears. Yeah, this was written on the Isle of Man, um, basically because we've got so much coastline, mm. just from walks that I took. And obviously not all of it is, is absolutely, I, I sort of called a piece, the shell on the beach or anything like that. No. But just memories and you let your imagination wander a bit. And this piece is? It's called The Pirate. Okay, Rick, well, if, thank you. If you'd like to make your way over to your piano over there, which I tuned up for you specially this morning, and I'll tell viewers that if they want to have a look at Tolkien's Birmingham, they can send in for a fact sheet to this address. Tolkien's Birmingham, Daytime Live, BBC Pebble Mill, Birmingham B57QQ, and please, a large stamped addressed envelope. All ready then, mate? All yours. <laughs>
A bit like Rip Wakeman himself. Now, in these high pressure.